just thinking about lab makes me happy right now because thinking about everything else I need to do does not make me <laughs> happy right now. It is what it is. We're making it work right now. It's been a busy week and honestly, if I could just be in lab all day, I would be a happy person. <laughs> and teach. I love teaching. As much as I may gripe about teaching, because I love to gripe about teaching, I love teaching. So. Good morning. <laughs> um, oh boy, it's Monday again, and it is 10:15. Uh, I had a busy morning already. I got the kids off to daycare and I had office hours, which students actually came to office hours. Yay, it's great. Uh, the not so great thing is trying to help students with technology over technology. Um, I feel so bad because like, you can just tell that they're like stressed about getting things right and they really wanna make sure they have it. And like, I feel bad when I can't help them figure it out. And normally in person, you know, I'd be sitting right there next to them, working through it with them. And it's just like so hard. And it's also so hard when I feel like I'm not doing enough to like help them. But if we're being honest, like, I don't know. The other thing that kind of stings for me is that all the issues seem to come from max and i'm a pc user so troubleshooting max is like not my thing <laughs> so oh yeah but so busy monday already uh good news i have well i guess no i have ta training today and then right after that i get to go to campus to work in lab again <sighs> just thinking about lab makes me happy right now because thinking about everything else i need to do does not make me <laughs> happy right now but yeah let's just say it's gonna be a really busy week and i'm ready for it and i'm excited for it and i'm a little terrified of it and I will talk to you later. All right. And so now I'm done with TA training. And we are off to lab really excited hey everyone so I'm on campus now and I actually got here on time for once um, left right after I had TA training thought I had everything that I needed like ready to just grab and go and of course that really wasn't the case because there's always something <laughs> so I kind of was running around trying to find everything again but uh, I found it and I made it here very grateful that there's not a lot of people on campus this semester because it makes parking a lot easier but when there are people parking is going to be a nightmare because they just don't have a lot of parking and especially not a lot like on campus close to actual things so yeah, um, I'm gonna walk to lab now and make sure I get there on time and I'll talk to you later. for the day and class because 
we had class right after lab time, which is fine. Um, lab was good. I got to make some solution, which like all this stuff, I feel so bad because it takes me forever because I haven't done it in forever. Um, but yeah, so it took me forever, like way longer than it should have, but that's because I haven't done it forever. And I haven't worked with like chemicals that are like are new to me in forever versus like, wow, I cannot talk today. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyways, I just haven't worked with these chemicals in forever. I was making SDS page buffer, which I know how to do because I've done it before, but not for a really long time. So I was just being cautious and going slow. And that's going to be me right now in the lab, cautious and slow. <laughs> but it was good. It's a good day. And now I'm off to go pick up the kids and start my nighttime routine and I will probably talk to you tomorrow <laughs> bye hi everyone so it is Tuesday and I have been having a very productive day but also kind of like a um I'm not lazy because I've been super productive but <laughs> like I haven't really done my makeup or my hair yet today. Uh, I attended my biochem lecture this morning, which class is finally starting to like ramp up and the material that's being covered is newer. It's still kind of a review for me, but, and then I've spent the rest of the day reviewing like lecture notes and I'm uh, reading through a grant proposal from my research advisor for the semester she's writing a grant proposal and she's having us read through it um so that's been kind of really cool actually because it's the first time i've read through a grant proposal like that and it's kind of a big deal uh, and it's definitely something i can be involved with in the future so that's really cool and it also gives an idea of like the direction that her lab is going in for the next uh few years and if I choose to be in her lab, like the direction that my research could go in. So that's kind of exciting. And other than that, I finally got my package with my new camera supplies because I think I told you all that I lost the charger for this camera, like my good camera that I use and the charger's just gone. I have no idea where it is, but I got a new charger, and it's really cool because I actually got one with two charging ports, and I got two extra batteries, which is awesome for me because it's one less thing for me to like <laughs> think about is making sure batteries are charged if I wanna bring my camera to lab or like vlog outside of the house. So I'm really excited about that. Um, yeah, otherwise I TA this afternoon. So I'm gonna have to get ready soon to TA. And then this evening I've got some more work that I wanna get done. It's kind of a busy week. I've got a lot of stuff. Um, I got a problem set assigned in biochem too. That's due next Monday. So between that and my molecular bio project that just got assigned that's due in two weeks, I have quite a bit of stuff to get done. So I will talk to you later. Bye. morning I it's Wednesday morning eight o'clock have an early morning earlier morning today cause, because I TA and then I have a busy day TA lab meeting and straight into the lab to get some more lab work done 
so uh, just really busy day really exciting it's been a really busy week all week I've been trying to figure out what day it is because it's seemed like I've been doing so much this week uh, a lot of projects got assigned for one of my classes I have a project that is due in two weeks and then we also got our presentation groups assigned and we have to select a primary liter literature article. Wow. <sighs> Can't talk tonight. But, or today. <laughs> Anyways, so we have to select a primary literature article for our presentation. And that's due uh, tomorrow, the article selection. And biochem, we got assigned a problem set. So... A lot of work that's been assigned, which is hard for me because I really, 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 really like to plan, especially having the kids and with my husband who works, we really like rely on being able to plan and I can't, or it's more difficult to just like fit things in. Um, but it is what it is. We're making it work right now. It's been a busy week and I'll try and bring you along today. <laughs> we'll see what I remember to do. See how interesting my day is. I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> hey everyone, just a little update. I'm getting ready to go to campus, but I thought you all might enjoy this and find it really funny. So I really love like planning and at the beginning of the semester I was doing really great about writing on um, my weekly schedule. So I have this planner that I write out like all my to-do tasks for the week and for each day. And if you'll notice up here, that is the date that I still have on it. And it is definitely September 16th. <laughs> so I'm like three weeks behind because I, I have, to be fair, I have my planner on my computer and I have like my to-do list for the week on my computer, but I really like having the visual of having it written, but I've had no time to write it down lately. <laughs> but I thought you all might get a kick out of that before uh, I go to lab today. But yeah, I'm on my way out the door to head to lab for the day. And um, another day of Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to say right now. Another day of kind of running around and trying to do a whole bunch of stuff. We, getting the kids to school, getting my stuff started. I started at 8 a.m. today and I'm gonna be in the lab probably till five tonight. So, oh, good stuff, I'll see you later. Hi everyone. It's Wednesday night, and I just thought I'd come on and share a little bit about how lab was today. So, it's getting really exciting being in lab. I love it, honestly. Today, we got to um, do some plasmid prep, which was fun because it's a very, very similar to a protocol I've used a lot in the past. Um, it's basically like the same just for a different purpose so i was pretty familiar with the protocol and also like as we were going through it i could think about like, what each step was doing which was really exciting for me i finally was kind of not feeling like i was lost in the world of science because my background is a little bit removed from what i'm doing now um but honestly like that's why i'm here getting my phd because even though ideally I would love to work in academia and work in forensics research and um, hopefully like the forensics field of academia, I also really just have a passion for like academic science research and this whole process, I mean I'm only at the beginning of it really, has been really rewarding for me and eye-opening and just something that like I couldn't have ever like have dreamed that it would be like this for me, that this process would be like this. So yeah, it was really exciting to do that in lab. And then, <laughs> okay, so the other thing I did in lab was I stared at giant jugs of water 
filling up with water. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a specific, for those of you not familiar, like with science, we have to use a certain kind of water um, to do experiments with, and there's a specific way to get it at the lab. <laughs> with COVID and my PI's research lab being new, we don't have like any work study students or any undergrad students in the lab who can help us with tasks. So we get to do the tasks, which meant that I actually spent over an hour, like an hour and 20 minutes standing, staring at water filling up. I mean, I did have my phone, so I read two <laughs> journal articles and did some other like self-care me time things that I normally don't, don't get to do on my phone anymore. Um, but next time, remind me to bring my laptop because I would have just sat on the floor and <laughs> like done some work on my laptop because there's always something to do on my laptop. But yes, yeah, so that was great. Uh, but lab was good. We go back tomorrow and we get to do restriction enzyme digests, which I am actually very familiar with and I'm really excited about doing them. And we get to hopefully, fingers crossed, run a gel for our DNA. We were having issues creating one of the solutions today. So fingers crossed that, that we get that figured out tomorrow. And that's like my day tomorrow. I just have my one class and then I get to be in lab all day, which honestly, if I could just be in lab all day, I would be a happy person. <laughs> and teach, I love teaching. As much as I may gripe about teaching, because I love to gripe about teaching. I love teaching. So yeah, teaching and research, that's me all the way. So I just thought I'd jump on here tonight and let you know how my day in lab went since I am not really showing you my days in lab yet. I really do hope that that changes. I would love to be able to show you around my, the lab, show you like things that I'm doing. Um, and that's, like I said, I plan to talk to my PI eventually about it. I'm just kind of getting my feet wet in the lab right now. So I hope you stick around to see that when I do get in the lab because I will post it and I will like let you all know <laughs> about it. Uh, but I, I'm gonna let you go for the night. I got some stuff to do, but I kind of want to just focus in on everything that I have to get done tonight and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It's Thursday today, almost the end of my week. And um, it's been busy if you've been following along with the rest of the days. Today I have biochem, um, which is good because I have a couple questions about the problem set that he assigned on Monday uh, that I'm hoping to get answered. And then right after biochem, I get to go into lab again today. Um, Really excited about that. Uh, yeah, a little nervous because I have a lot of things to get done like today and tomorrow. Uh, and I'm not gonna have a lot of time this weekend to work on like schoolwork because I've got some other commitments. So I'm trying to make sure I'm being productive and planning my time. Uh, with that being said, I have about an hour until biochem class starts. So I'm gonna hit the ground running this morning and I am going to get some of my work done for my biochem problem set. <laughs> I will talk to you later.
Hey everyone. So it is pretty late for me, um, or at least late for me to be filming, um, but I just thought I'd jump on here and uh, share my thoughts. My husband got a kind of last minute call to go on a trip this weekend. Um, and so the last couple days that we've known about it, we've been kind of trying to prep for that. And he left tonight and he's going to be gone all weekend. <laughs> um, which means that like all of my plans uh, kind of have gotten rearranged, um, and like my to-do list, um, I have separated it into now I can do with the kids and I need quiet without the kids to complete this task. So essentially like what I can get done during the day this weekend and what I absolutely have to do after the kids go to bed. Fingers crossed they go to bed well. <laughs> Um, and I had a really good day in lab. I'm really enjoying, um, my PI this semester already. I mean, it's been, this is, was our second week in lab, but she's just really, um, been great to like work with so far, so far. She's really clear on her instructions. Um, she's very organized, which I personally like. And so far she's been like hands-on enough to where I feel comfortable, especially being new in the lab, but also like hands-off enough to where she'll give me a task and she'll leave me to do it. Like she won't hover over my shoulder, which is good for me because uh, when people hover on my shoulder, that's when I get even more like nervous and have even a harder time doing something, even something that's not hard, but I just like can't have somebody standing there over my shoulder. So that's been really nice. And I'm getting more used to it, more comfortable being in the lab. Um, and yeah, I'm just really enjoying the environment so far. Um, looking forward to seeing like where the rest of the semester goes. I think uh, in terms of priorities, I know like my priorities are going to be focusing on research and focusing on TAing and obviously I have to take classes and I have to pass my classes but like priority wise I think I've kind of shifted a little bit because of just how I feel about it and what I want to focus on um obviously I want to like learn the material in the classes and I want to do well but I just don't feel like I need to make it a priority I mean not a priority but <laughs> a top priority like research is you know gonna be one of my top priorities um yeah otherwise not much else going on just kind of the usual uh I'm actually starting to get really tired so I think I'm gonna go drink my tea and I will see you all tomorrow Hey everyone, <clears throat> so it is Friday night, um, sorry I didn't film a lot, film at all today, uh, I was home with my oldest who was homesick, um, which means I didn't get to go to lab today, which I was, I was bummed about, um, but we got to have a little like self-care day with my son and I where we just basically had lots of cuddles and snuggles and yeah he's um feeling much better tonight he's got a really bad cough but nothing else really right now so it's good hopefully it's just a little bug and it goes away quick uh they the kids pick up them so easily at daycare and at school that um especially during the fall and winter I feel like we've always have something <laughs> going through the house um but yeah so that affected my day and now I'm getting ready to do some homework 
my setup for the night and I'm gonna try and do it's like eight o'clock and I'm gonna try and do homework until 10 and then relax for an hour or so and get to bed by 11 so I'm gonna get to it and get productive and I will talk to you again on Monday have a good weekend well by the time you see this it won't be Friday anymore but <laughs> oh, have a good weekend anyways bye <laughs> Thank you.